Hi, it's Carolyn. I'm here to help you learn how to bake and decorate amazing cakes. And in this video, I just want to go over one of the questions I get asked all of the time. And people always say to me, why does your fondant look so much different than mine? Why doesn't the Tylos powder hold up in my fondant? And I'm going to give you an answer and you may not like it. But first, before I do, I want to put out a disclaimer and just let you know that I am giving advice based on my personal experience. You may work with fondant in a different way and have it work for you, but I'm just letting you know what works for me. So what is the reason that I believe that your fondant does not work like mine? It is because you are using store-bought fondant. And I have nothing against store-bought fondant. I have used it from time to time. However, I just prefer to make my own marshmallow fondant. I've been doing it that way for over 20 years and I've just had a lot of success with it. So why don't I recommend using store-bought fondant? The main reason is because if you've seen my videos, you know that I love to use Gumtex powder, Tylos powder, CMC powder. I always say it's all basically the same thing. You sprinkle a little bit into the fondant, knead it in there, and it helps the fondant set hard. However, when you use store-bought fondant, it is notoriously soft. And I have found that if I try to add Tylos powder, to store-bought fondant, it stays soft. I can never get clean cuts and it doesn't dry really hard. So toppers don't hold their shape and fondant details are more difficult to cut. Now, I need to be completely honest with you and let you know, making marshmallow fondant is one of my least favorite things to do as a cake decorator. I get so annoyed <laughs> because it makes a mess of my kitchen. I actually made fondant the other day and I took a picture of what my kitchen countertop looked like afterwards. It's just a mess. And I use a towel over the mixer and it's still sugar gets everywhere. So when I'm done making the fondant, I have to take a wet soapy rag and wipe down all of the cabinets, all of the countertop. Like it just gets everywhere. I hate making it. However, I love it so much. And why did I say it like that? Like I was about to cry. <laughs> But I do just love it so much for many reasons. The main one being that I find it so much easier to work with. If you get it to the right consistency, it's easy to stretch and cover cakes without having any elephant skin. And if you don't know what elephant skin is, I have a little picture here. And it usually happens with store-bought fondant. It gets these little cracks in the fondant and it drives you a little crazy. And also the marshmallow fondant can dry really hard with the Tylos and I get so much uh, cleaner cuts when I use the marshmallow fondant. Now, <laughs> making marshmallow fondant isn't always very easy. It takes a little bit of practice to get it right. And I have tons of videos showing you how to make marshmallow fondant. I actually have one video <laughs> which talks about why does your marshmallow fondant suck? Because sometimes it could be either too wet or too dry. And I show you in that video how to get the fondant to the correct consistency. The key is to make sure that the fondant kind of holds its shape around the hook or in the bowl and doesn't just spread out on the bottom, meaning that it's too wet or too thin, or it doesn't break apart, meaning that it's too dry. So it does take a little bit of practice to get it to the right consistency, but I have many videos out there showing you how to do that, and I'm going to link that in the description for you. So if you've seen my videos, you know that, and like I said before, <laughs> I add Gumtex powder or Tylos powder to all of my fondant. If I'm making a big batch of it, I sprinkle, it's usually a two pound batch, I sprinkle a quarter of a teaspoon of the Tylos powder into the fondant and knead that in there, wrap it up and let it sit overnight before I use it. And then when I am making decorations that I like to cut intricate details, like if I'm making a name, I will add even more Tylos powder. I'll break a piece off of that fondant that already has a little bit of Tylos powder in it. I'll add some coloring. Coloring naturally softens the fondant. Then I need to add even more Tylos powder to that. And I don't have certain amounts that you need. It all depends on how big the fondant is that you um, colored and how soft the fondant gets after you color it and how hard you want the fondant to dry. So if I'm making something like a name that doesn't have to dry super hard because it's going to go on the side of the cake it doesn't have to be it doesn't have to have tons of tylose powder in it if i'm making a number that goes on top of the cake it needs to have a lot of tylose powder so it can hold its shape so i find that with store-bought fondant even if you add the tylose powder you're going to get a lot of dragging in the fondant when you're trying to cut 
intricate details. Now it does happen in marshmallow fondant as well and I, I filmed a video and it happened and I didn't feel like starting all over so I just continued with it. But I colored the fondant, it got really soft, I didn't add enough Tylos powder and if you can see here the, the fondant is dragging and the cuts are not clean. Versus this name that I made where that red fondant was the perfect consistency, it wasn't dragging as I'm cutting the name out and you know it was just it was just a good consistency. So I'm saying all of this because I'm telling you that store-bought fondant does not work at least for me with the Tylos powder to help me get good clean cuts and hard toppers but it does also happen with marshmallow fondant it's all about getting it to the right consistency and how many times can I say that <laughs> but you know what I mean I'm gonna link that video in in the description and I also get asked a lot how about how much Tylos powder you add and like I said before it really depends on what decoration that you're making and how hard it has to set so something like a bow on the top of the cake it doesn't have too much Tylos powder in it there is enough that it's going to set hard but it's a little pliable as I'm working with it that doesn't have as much Tylos powder as when I'm making a number topper and it has to dry really hard so it can stand on its own. So I know I'm kind of going in a bunch of circles here, but this is just one of those questions that I get asked all of the time. Why does your fondant look so good and mine doesn't? And the main reason is because you're using store-bought fondant or your marshmallow fondant is not at the right consistency. So I hope this helped you guys out. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. And just a reminder, I do have a Cake Academy membership program where I can help you elevate your cakes to the next level. And I actually went live in that Facebook group not too long ago showing you how to get the marshmallow fondant to the right consistency, answering any questions that came up during that live. And in the top two tiers of my membership program, you do get access to my exclusive Facebook group. All of that information will be listed in the description. Please like this video if you liked it, and if you're enjoying my tutorials, I would be so grateful if you could buy me a coffee. My link is down below. And I would love it if you would keep in touch on socials and you could check out my website. And if you want to see the video on getting your fondant to the right consistency, you can watch this video next and hit subscribe and the bell if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys. And remember, it's cake, have fun. I will see you on the next one. Bye.